What's up, YouTube? Back with your boy, Luke. Back to another episode of the College of Hooker Knowledge. Guys, check this out. I'm going to drop some deep facts on you right now. So take some notes and listen to what I'm saying. We're going to be talking about these hookers, these working girls down in Tijuana, Mexico in the red light district. But you can apply this knowledge all over the world. It doesn't matter if they're working in Bogota, Colombia at the Santa Fe or even down in Jaco Beach, Costa Rica. I'm speaking facts. Pay attention. All right, guys. Rule number one, the most important thing, and I'm going to repeat it twice, you cannot make a whore a housewife. Understand that again. You cannot make a whore a housewife. You might go in, you might talk to her, you might take her upstairs, you might start feeling a connection, and you might think this is just terrible what this pretty beautiful girl has to do. I want to help her out. I'm going to lead with my wallet, and I'm going to save her and take her out of this bar. I'm going to take her out of this lifestyle. Let me tell you something right now, guys. They do not want to be saved. And that come from a stripper friend of mine down at the Players Club in Denver, Colorado. She told me that. She goes, they don't want to be saved. And she was exactly right. They don't want to be saved. Now, understand something, guys. Number two, let's say you do take her out of the bar. You can possibly take the girl out of the bar, even though most of you guys don't have enough game to do that. It is possible to take her out of the bar. But let me tell you what's not possible. What's not possible is you can't take the bar out of the girl. What I'm saying is you can take her out of the bar, but you can't take the bar out of her blood. They're used to easy money. They're used to the corruption. They're used to taking advantage of people. They're used to the easy money. So, don't ever think you can save them and change their lives because you can't. You're going to get the same result. It's going to be disappointment and it's going to be money spent. I'm going to give you guys three examples right now of a girl not being able to get the bar out of her system. I know one girl, years ago she was a dancer at one of the big clubs in Tijuana, Mexico. Now she's a flight attendant. I was talking to her not too long ago and I said, hey, you should come to my Halloween party. She goes, I don't think so. I'm working Halloween night. What? I thought you didn't work anymore. And she goes, oh, there are a few days that I will always work the rest of my life. She goes, I can make five, six hundred bucks, seven hundred dollars on Halloween night. I always do it. This girl plans her layovers to be in Tijuana. Or she plans her layovers to be in Cancun, where there's a lot of American tourists, where she can go hit up the local bar drop those panties and get some money, all right? That's example number one. Let me give you example number two. I know this girl that used to work at the Chicago club, right? She got married to a guy in Riverside, California. He bought her the house, he knocked her up, she had the baby, she's got the rock, she's got the car. Everything's supposed to be right. What does she do? After a couple years, she gets her green card, she comes back down to TJ, she goes back down to the Chicago club just to look around, say hi, see some old friends. And what did she wind up doing? Well, you know, she just wanted to get on stage one more time. But it didn't stop there. The easy money came. The old feelings came back. Before you know it, she's going upstairs again. That's right. Now, this wasn't an everyday occurrence. It wasn't like she was leaving Riverside every day going down to Tijuana and sell an ass at the Chicago club because she was not doing that. What she was doing, however, though, was going down there from time to time, especially when she needed money or when she you know, needed a little extra money or a little bit of excitement, and she was slinging ass. That's just what they do, guys. I'm telling you. I've seen it over and over again. I know one girl that worked at one of the bars down there. She was old 20 years ago when I was down there. She was in her 40s then. She's got to be in her 60s now. She has had several times in her life where she disappears, but she always comes back. Remember something, guys. This thing right here, that is never yours. It's just your turn. Okay? That is also one of the only things that it is absolutely cheaper to rent than it is to own. And you remember that about these girls. Guys, before I forget, speaking about Halloween, 
I'm having a big ass Halloween party down in Zona Norte. I'll be at the Chicago Club. If you have never been to Tijuana, Mexico over Halloween weekend, you definitely need to go. Go down to the red light district. It doesn't matter if it's this year, next year, or whenever. Go down to the red light district Halloween weekend in Tijuana, Mexico. All the girls are dressed up. It's a great party. It's a great time. Everybody should see it one time. Everybody should have some fun. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with this last piece of advice about these girls here in the College of Hooker Knowledge, and that is start out like you can hold out. In other words, if you do snatch a girl up and get her out of the bar and put her in your house and you've got her on a $200 a week salary or a $2,000 a week salary, whatever it is, you better start out like you can hold out because the second you can't hold out, she's going to take her happy ass right back down there and start slinging it again. Guys, if you hadn't done it already, smash that red like and subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. My name is Luke. I do videos specifically about Zona Norte, the legal red light district of Tijuana, Mexico. Any questions you might have about the legal red light district of Tijuana, Mexico, hit me up down in that comment section below. Send me an email. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And guys, I wasn't going to tell this story here, but I am today because I've been going for six minutes and 30 seconds. And at eight minutes, I get a deal with YouTube. So um, I want to go ahead and tell you something one time and something that you will only see in Tijuana, Mexico. I've told it before. Maybe you've heard it. Maybe you haven't. But I'm going to go ahead and finish up this video with this story. About 2013, I'm sitting down at the Taco Loco, which is right beside the red light district of Tijuana, Mexico, right by the old bus station across from the Wax Museum. And all of a sudden, I see some screaming and hollering going on. And I'm looking over there. And I see this chick running these high-ass platforms. She's running down the street fast as she can. And I see a Tijuana police officer right behind her. And he's closing the gap, right? And they're running. And all of a sudden, he's got this wooden billy club in his hands. And he knocks her feet out from under her, right? Right in front of us, the taco joint. And she goes sliding on the pavement, screaming and shit. Well, I realized right then that she was a he, was a transvestite, right? In a skirt with these platform shoes. And anyways, this cop grabs that billy club and he gets up over and he rears back like he's going to knock the shit out of her. And she says, Por Jesus Cristo, for Jesus Christ. And he says, No metas Jesus en eso. He says, Don't you bring Jesus into this. And he just knocks the shit out of her. Bam, bam. She starts hollering and screaming. He hit her a couple times, handcuffed her up, picked her up, took her down the road. Now, apparently what happened is she robbed somebody. I didn't really get the whole story. She robbed somebody. A foot chase ensued, and that wind up being the deal. But that's shit that you only see in Mexico. All right, guys, recap about the College of Hooker knowledge. Remember what I said, boys. Take the girl out of the bar, but you can't take the bar out of the girl. Till next time, guys, smash that red like and subscribe button. I'll see you at the Halloween party. And we'll see you down the road.